Hey guys, welcome. Long time no see, I know. Uh, but today's video, I'm going to be trying out this new brand of resin. It's new for me, I haven't tried it before. It's called Upstart Epoxy. And, you know, they contacted me through Instagram asking if I wanted to try it out. And I said, why not? Because I haven't seen anyone that I follow on social media use this brand. And I don't think I've even heard of it. So, why not? So they sent me this... 16 ounce kit. Actually, I think it's 32 ounce kit. 16 each. And then I actually already used quite a bit of this to make a lot of pieces, which you will see in this video and then possibly in the videos after this. Just depends on what I feel like doing. And along with the resin, they were also kind enough to send me their pigments that they have. I believe there's 25 of them total. And yeah, I believe I used a couple of them in a piece, so I might show that one in this video. I'm not sure yet. I made quite a few pieces just to kind of test out how the resin pours after it's been heated up, how it is with bubbles and pigments and all that jazz. Yeah, this is just kind of like a watch me resin using this new brand of resin that I was given to test out. And... I will give you my thoughts on it when I'm done.
the pieces I made in this video. Let's start with this one. I made this one to see how well I could get rid of the micro bubbles when using a popsicle stick because since it's wood it will trap air bubbles and did a, a good job. There's still obviously micro bubbles as you can see but it's not the worst I've seen and I will normally just use something plastic or silicone when I want clear resin so I just wanted to, to see how it'll look when using a popsicle stick oh, and these two now I know I do use way too much ink I mean way too much ink I'm used to doing the regular peachy dishes and I don't really do the reverse style but yeah these have way too much ink but they still cured rock solid just fine there's no bendiness at all yeah so that's good to know if you overdo it on the ink it's still gonna cure just fine and then again since it's the same batch there are still micro bubbles but it's not a big deal it's not that bad And I don't remember if I mentioned before, but I did warm up the resin before pouring, like I always do. And even though I do that, I did still get around like that 35 minute working time before it starts to get too uh, unmanageable to really pour anything. So that's good. And it's also something I like to do because these 1 to 1 ratio resins tend to be on the thicker side. So you can see that it's like really slow moving, so I like to warm them up beforehand. And yeah, I think overall this is a pretty good resin. And I wouldn't mind using this once I run out of the resin I just bought. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks again to the company Upstart Epoxy for sending me this this little, little trial, trial kit to test it out. And also for the mica powders, which I will definitely use. And... Yes, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Actually, before I go, I just wanted to show these really quick. Uh, the other pieces were just made with mica powder and alcohol inks, and these were made with some liquid pigments. I believe I just used the Casting Craft brand, Alumilite brand, um, Let's Resin brand, and I think that's it. And also just some chunky glitter. And I think this was from my first batch, just to test and see if they mixed well with those pigments. And they did, all these cured just fine. And yeah, goodbye for real.